Hey, I'm delighted to bring you the beautiful face of George Alberts. Lorenzo and Russo. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, one and only, Derek Johnson. So, uh, Colin. Thank Colin, thank you very much for doing this with us. Ray, what do you think about Pedro Caixinha and is he the right in the video? We have Mr. Tom Miller in this video today. It's obviously with the beautiful face of Lee McCulloch. I'm Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel and thank you very much for tuning in yet again. Today I have a different kind of honour. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm here speaking to Dave Smith, of course, the main man when it came to winning um, the European Cup Winners' Cup in 1972. Dave, how are you today? No, oh, I'm fine. Brilliant, glad to hear. So the first question that I've been um, told to ask you is, talk to us about when you were in the tunnel uh, at, in Barcelona in the new camp before... Uh, the game, obviously, in the, the the final of the European Cup Winners' Cup 1972. What was the vibe like? Were you guys believing you could do it after beating Bayern Munich? Was it nervous or was there any unrest whatsoever? Well, it's difficult for me to say because I was never nervous before games. I don't know if that was good or bad, but uh, to me and my friends always say to me, oh, it must have been a, some experience. And I said, well, it was, to me, it was just another game. I just love playing football, as I've said previously, and to me it was just another game. But I do remember that my wife was at the game, but uh, Amanda, our oldest daughter, was only two at the time, and, uh, well, coming up for three. And uh, she didn't, uh, She was always with us wherever we went, and she didn't want them to, us to go away. Uh, and her grandparents were watching her, and, I said to her, it's okay, on the television I'll give you a wave. So uh, that's what happened when we were on the park, everybody was waving huh. to the cameras. So she thought, oh, daddy's waving to me. So, oh, okay. so she was all right after that. And of course so, that probably made you feel a bit better about it all, didn't it? When knowing that your daughter was uh, absolutely happy seeing that she thought people were waving at her. I, well, she thought, I said I would give her a wave and I did, so... She was quite happy then. Oh, but uh, no, uh, obviously it was the stadium was full of Ranger supporters. So uh, we didn't think in, at that time it might be uh, funny to say that we didn't think. When you went on to the park, you thought you were going to win every game. And uh, I mean, even it doesn't matter who you're playing for. If you don't go on to the park thinking you can win, where's the time going on? But we, I mean, we expected to win every game, and uh, and that might be when I say that might be funny is because we could beat the better Rangers out in the cup that year, you know. So, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that was six, seven. Sorry, that was uh, when we got beat in the final for Bayern Munich. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm saying we got beat in the cup from Berwick. That was '67. It was. That's when Bayern Munich beat us actually in the final. So. No, uh, in 72, uh, after being Bayern Munich, obviously uh, everybody would be, even the press and the supporters would be expecting us to win. And uh, well, it turned out that way anyway. And uh, a lot of people would think, oh, 3-2 was pretty close. But I never ever felt at any time that we were, we were going to lose it, you know. I mean, obviously we're up 3 nothing and lose two goals. It becomes a bit jittery, you would think. But I never felt that way at all. I always thought that uh, we had everything under control. The fans might have not have thought that, the managers might not have thought that, but I, I definitely thought that way. You know, I, I was never under any impression that we were in any danger. And that's just me. I, I never really used to see it get nervous, so... But I think that's a mentality that we need now. Um, I've had the pleasure of speaking to an ex-teammate of yours, uh, also um, was involved uh, throughout the Rangers years when you were there, Derek Johnson. And uh, what Derek Johnson said to me was he said, after winning the 1972 Cup Winners' Cup, you were told that we'll be speaking about this in 50 years' time. And his quote was, everyone said, yeah, I heard that. Um, but here we are, almost 50 years on, still speaking about this. At the sense, at that point in time, did it, did the Rangers team really know what they'd achieved? Well, not at the time, because uh, to be quite honest, you see, with the fans coming onto the park and that, uh, the team was never given the opportunity to play in Europe together again. The team sort of broke up after I mean, we were banned for two years, resigned it uh, one year after Wally Worrell appealed, but. Uh, 
we never really got to play together again as a team. Uh, the team we had was very well suited for Europe, you know, the style of play we played. And uh, we never really got the opportunity to play again in Europe. So we That's don't good. know how good we would have been or, or how bad even. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, that being said, I, I do have to ask you a question here. There was a rumour that I read when I was very young that John Gregg refused to shave his beard off until he won a European trophy. Is is that true? Well, he refused to shave it off until we got uh, beaten that competition, yeah. Oh, bless. He, but having said that, he, the chances are there was a scar on his chin anyway, so uh, he might not have been able to shave completely. But uh, he sort of... Sh- suited the beard as well. It made him more fearsome, even though the opposition usually found him fearsome anyway. It made him a bit more fearsome. But, uh, no, I used to share the room with John, and uh, that would be right enough, really. He didn't shave it off until, until we won, but uh, yeah, I told him we'd win anyway, so he, he was able to shave it off pretty soon after that. Hey, I'm delighted to bring you the beautiful face of George Albert. Lorenzo Amoruso. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Derek Johnson. Colin. Colin, thank you very much for doing this with us. Ray, what do you think about Pedro Cargini and his either right? In the video, we have Mr. Tom Miller. In this video today, it's obviously with the beautiful face of Lee McCulloch. Unfortunately,